There we go. All right. So check this out. I've talked about on stream how, you know, look, I'm not going to go out there and just be telling people to do illegal stuff. <laughs> but I will tell you this much as far as all of this is concerned. I want everybody to really pay attention to how things have transpired over the course of the last four or five months, depending on where you're at. The state effectively destroyed people's livelihoods. I hate when people misspeak and they say things like the virus did this, the virus did this. No, the virus didn't do that. The state did that. And they forced people into these lockdowns and they continuously moved the post as far as to what the point of the lockdown was. First, it was to flatten the curve. And that seemed to move to saving lives in general, which was not what was assumed with the whole flatten the curve as far as people getting sick and possibly dying from the virus. That was never assumed that it wouldn't happen. It was assumed that, you know, hey, if we do this, we can keep the amount of people that need the hospital resources under the amount of you know, the amount of hospital resources that are available. Therefore, you know, you can treat them and other people um, in the event they get sick or other people need some sort of treatment. That shifted and they continuously and continue to move the post as far as what the goal is. This is why we're now talking about deaths in general. They keep talking about now cases, right? Cases. Now, even as the deaths go down, right? It was the deaths and the and so forth. Then as the death started to go down, now it's the cases, cases, the infected. We don't know what the actual goal is to eradicate the virus, uh, to to wait until a vaccine may or may not come. They continuous to continuously move the goalposts. And a lot of these guys for that period of two to three weeks sat up there and justified rioting, protesting, justified those acts. One or the other or both in, in a lot of cases. Hey, it's just property, right? That's what they said about the riot. So these people are just, this is how they're lashing out. They're mad, you know? And all of the social distancing stuff they have been lecturing you about, they're willing to go back on. Because it doesn't apply. Or more so, they can apply whenever they want to apply. It doesn't really apply to them. Look, this entire system, as it stands, depends on those who just want to go about their lives doing nothing. And I'm talking about the Joe Blow individual, not the guy protesting or rioting or anything like that. Some of these people are apolitical. Some of these people have maybe a slight political slant lean or one way or the other. But there's a lot of individuals who just want to go about their lives. They'll take whatever precautions they need to protect to, to take, whatever makes them feel comfortable. But generally, they want to go about the. It depends. The system as it exists depends on those types just going along with anything they do and throw at you. The game is rigged. I've done several videos on how exactly the game is completely rigged. It's, it's, it's. They get to change the rules on the fly. Hit a Guerrero tactics. They lying and cheating and stealing. And I, like I said, I'm not going to go out there and tell anybody to go do illegal stuff, but I don't think this stops until those people, which is, I think, is a big block of folks who have been, have trusted this system. Let's say that they want what's best for you until they stand up and say, absolutely not. This is done. And there's, there's some sort of mass form of, of civil disobedience. They're just going to continue to whoop up on you and do whatever it is that they want you to do. We're, we're, dudes, we're to the point of mask mandates, man, where they are forcing you to cover your face. And we've done all of this, by the way, for a virus with a 99% survival rate. And basically every part of this country. Where it got hit the hardest, New York City, it was a 0.7 infected fatality rate. Meaning that 99.3% didn't die. Or won't die. Come on, man. And we shut the, not the, shut the economy down. 
all of this for and you got folks trying to hold the country hostage, right? Well, we can get rid of the lockdowns if you just cover your face. First of all, I'm not to believe that because you've changed the rules time and time again. And number two, you don't get to hold the country hostage like that. It was never your right to make that. It was never your decision to make that on behalf of everybody else. That, hey, you have to be you have to be forced into lockdown. You cannot assume whatever risk that it takes to be a part of a community or to be a part of, of, of this society. We live in a society. Seriously, I don't think this ends until there's a mass form of civil disobedience and it is July, the fourth of my last name. I do think that's what's necessary. Business owners, people are going to have to look at this situation and say no more. No more, no more, no more. And it has to come from those that have just gone along with with everything that's happened, roll with the punches, because that's what they're entirely dependent upon you. This is why they get to steal from you to subsidize people that, uh, you know, practice bad behavior. This is why they get to try to guilt trip you into doing whatever it is that they want you to do, no matter if it contradicts what they've done. They get to do all of that because there is a big block of people who I totally understand they want less conflict. They don't want ha- want to have to deal with a lot of this nonsense. It makes complete sense. And the general average individual is like that. They just want to go about their lives. They don't want conflict. They don't want conflict with the at some point you gotta though, and uh, it has to be a bigger block of people, has to tell politicians, the government officials. The law enforcers to go screw themselves. We tried it Charles way for a long time. You put 40, 50, some million people out of work. Deaths of despair going up. Suicide rates. All, no more. No more. Absolutely no more. As, as people go around gallivanting around certain parts of town, as they were, the ride is kind of slowed down but they destroy your businesses, destroy your communities, burn your community down. And then there's a bunch of blue check marks who have been lecturing you about social distancing and saving lives and all of this other stuff. Kumbaya had been green lighting and saying, well, that's how they have to react because that's the only way to get you to listen. That's how they have to react because they're mad and they greenlit. They did all of that. They justified it. They excused it. No more. That's just what's going to have to happen. And I don't see this ending until that happens. But if you keep rolling with the punches, whatever way that is, they're just going to continue to do whatever it is that they feel like doing. And it's got to stop at some point. 